Now we have a list of the causes of male infertility. So can you explain what each of them means? The first one is sperm deficiencies. Is now is, does that mean issues with the sperm? Maybe some, we often hear the term slow swimmers or. It, it, could that fall under that range? Absolutely. So any sort, any sort of abnormalities to the sperm. So we look at a lot of different things when we look at a semen analysis, which is really right. the mainstay of checking to see uh, the quality or the quantity of a patient's sperm. Uh, and so we'll look at the volume of the ejaculate or the semen analysis. We'll look at the concentration of sperm. We'll look at how well they're moving. Are they moving appropriately? How they look or the morphology? And all of these things fall within the actual sperm deficiencies category. Okay. Retrograde ejaculation will be another one. This is when a man is not able to ejaculate. If you cannot ejaculate the sperm into the woman's vagina to be able to, for them to, to swim up to meet right. the egg, you will not be able to have a pregnancy. And so in retrograde this, ejaculation is another one. In this case of retrograde ejaculation, if the man can't ejaculate, it just stays, it stays inside. Isn't that cause further problems for the man? Not usually. It's okay. actually a benign disease. Okay. It could be related to a couple different things. Uh, so surgeries can do it. Certain surgeries, either cystoscopic or urethral surgeries that we can do. Uh, other surgeries that can affect the nerves that make a man ejaculate. There's also mm -hmm. certain medications that can cause it as well. So that's another one okay. a very important thing that uh, a man needs to remember that certain medications carry as a side effect and ejaculation or retrograde ejaculation. Okay, are these one of these more common than others? Which one do you frequently see? Oh, well, you'll see a combination of everything. Okay. Uh, and so I've, I've, we'll see certain genetic abnormalities. Uh, we'll see men who've had surgeries that are the cause for their infertility. We'll see men who have taken certain medications, whether it be uh, steroids or drug mm -hmm. use. Uh, we'll see, of course, certain immunologic abnormalities as well that can cause it. We'll see obstruction. The most common type of male infertility obstruction is actually a vasectomy. If a man goes out to get a vasectomy, guess what? They're infertile, and that's because of an obstruction. A surgically caused obstruction right. that was on purpose, but let's say a man shows up, now maybe their wife had passed away or they've been divorced and they have a new wife who's younger and they want to be able to have children with them. Well, that's one of the other right. major causes of infertility is a vasectomy that can be reversed.